the bank acted in good faith for the broader interest of Ghana's economy. The debt included all the legacy debts of government of Ghana dating back to 1992, including the overdraft to 2022, overdraft to Cocoa Board, the COVID-19 bond, and even Bank of Ghana holdings of Telecom Malaysia bonds and the Tema Oil Refinery bonds issued by government. As of 2015, the accumulated claims on government and Cocoa Board were about 13 billion Ghana CDs. The debt, therefore, is not about recent debt alone. Almost all lending from the IMF, including the external credit facility and rapid credit facility during the COVID-19 pandemic, and financial sector resolution bonds have been presented in the recent discourse as Bank of Ghana lending to government. This is not factual. It is important to state that losses reported were technical losses arising from the haircut and the application of accounting standards, in particular IFRS 9, to estimate expected credit losses over the tenor of the government debt held by Bank of Ghana. It is not money lost by the Bank of Ghana through its operations in 2022. Rather, one should look at this as a reflection of the total cost of the economic and social crisis that the country has faced over the years and an attempt to resolve a major structural problem of the